Welcome to day 56. Um, this is the day after Christmas, and I got on the scale today, and I hadn't weighed since Christmas Eve, and I gained two pounds. So, um, now on Christmas Eve, I, I did go in, I ran on the treadmill at the gym for 50 minutes, and that is a really long time when you're on a treadmill. Um, and then yesterday, I didn't get my run in, but I did a deck of cards at my house. And then on today, I went and I did my 50 minutes on the treadmill again. Um, now, today I made uh, some people stay with me so I didn't have to do it all by myself. <laughs> so Elizabeth Cox, she stayed on the treadmill, I think probably almost two hours by the time it was said and done because she was on there before I was on there. Um, and then a couple of Paul's clients, Dixie and Ann, they stayed on there to burn some extra calories. Um, and then who else was on there? There was Cynthia. She she stayed on there and to make sure she burned a thousand calories before the day was over. And um, so good job. Everybody did good today. I was very proud of the people that came to the gym today. Um, because a lot of people I think looked at the ice outside, the snow outside, and said, I'm not gonna go. But um, for those of y'all that did great job. Um, hopefully, uh, Hopefully tomorrow everybody's back in gear and back on track instead of waiting for January 1st um, next week while they gain another five pounds doing a whole bunch of nothing um, and eating whatever they want. I will say I ate pretty much whatever I wanted over the last couple days on um, Christmas Eve. kind of stayed near just the meats, but I did have some wine. And then on Saturday, I um, not Saturday, on yesterday, on Christmas Day, I ate whatever I wanted. I really did not worry about it. Um, however, I ate kind of early in the day. We ate like at 3. That was my lunch and dinner all put together. So, But there were some um, sugar cookies that Brooklyn and I had made. So uh, I enjoyed it, and now it's back to doing what I know I need to do to get to where I need to be. So still focused on losing those 10 pounds to get me back to the pre-Phoenix weight. And that will happen very soon, I'm sure of it. I think the holidays always kind of stall people, and then they can put it back in gear and do it. Um, don't wait till January 1st, though. You guys come in, either come into to Tough or wherever it is that you live, go there and, and get started. Don't wait another week. Don't do that. Um, we do have the biggest loser, or the toughest loser is what we call it, up at the gym, so you can win $1,000. Um, if you win that, it's a 20-week contest. Uh, we also have some specials and stuff going on, so come in and see what we got to help you meet your goals. Stop it. Um, what else? Oh, I did some, for, I was trying to plan out today's boot camp, and I was like, okay, I wonder how many calories the average person eats on Christmas Day, and I wonder how I can put that into some sort of workout. And in my head, I was thinking I'll have a certain number of sets and divide the number of reps to equal out that number and when I saw how much it was there was no way that I could make anybody do this the total number of calories that the average person consumes on Christmas Day is 6,000 calories that is like a week worth of food almost in one day it's ridiculous so um, if you had that many calories, I don't know what you were eating. I'm, I don't think I hit that number, but I didn't log it either, so I don't know. But I'm sure I had an excess of what I should have, but I don't think it was six thousand. But so I couldn't figure out how to make anybody do six thousand reps of anything. So I just did. We did um, try to get through six sets of one minute reps, and I had different exercises written by like the T for thousands, T the H. We did like thrusters and. Um, you know, all the, all of their favorite stuff is what we did. So anyway, hope you guys had a great Merry Christmas and you're getting ready to get on track today and, um, hope you're getting your workouts in. We'll talk to you tomorrow.